new twists and turns tonight in the case of a Lake Worth man charged with shooting his wife to death in what was originally called a mercy killing. Attorneys for Stephen Cross do not want the jury to hear those words. And as our investigative reporter Terry Parker has discovered, Cross has come up with an entirely new defense in the death of his wife. Terry. Stephen Crusp has been in jail since he tearfully told police almost six years ago he shot his wife to death because she begged him to end her misery. He was supposed to go to trial tomorrow, but now he's come up with a new defense, been re-indicted, and his trial continued once again. Court documents say in 2017, Stephen Crusp checked his wife Pamela Crusp out of the Parkside Assisted Living Facility in Boynton Beach, shot her in the chest, then called 911 to report his crime. The report states Crusp told police his wife suffered from dementia and told him, I want you to kill me. Crusp stated he hugged and kissed his wife after he shot her and everything became surreal. Now that mercy killing defense is out. In 2021, the state revealed new tests showed Pamela's DNA also was on the gun handle, and Stephen now claims Pamela was suicidal and shot herself. Apparently, to counter that defense, the state has just re-indicted Crusp on the first-degree murder charge and added a manslaughter with a firearm charge, basically saying if the jury doesn't believe Stephen point-blank shot his wife, he aided or assisted Pamela in taking her own life by bringing her the gun or even handing it to her. Crusp is a retired Marine and father of three who was married to Pamela for 40 years when she succumbed to early onset Alzheimer's at age 59. Two years later, their marriage ended with her violent death. The defense asked for yet another continuance. The murder trial is now scheduled for April 6. And coming up at 6, you'll hear what the state doesn't want the jury to know. That's all new in less than an hour. Terry Parker, WPPF 25 News.